No skips. If you skip, you're nasty, okay? I don't make the rules. Hey, what's up, hello? Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm Decca, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my skincare routine <laughs> or my nighttime skincare routine and basically my daytime skincare routine because it's not that different. I do pretty much the same thing twice a day, kind of. I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Before we get started, I'm gonna throw on this cute little thing that I lived my whole life without until I didn't. And now I'm obsessed. It's so cute. <laughs> my baby hairs are not slicked down today and that's okay. Really, I'm gonna be taking these braids out soon and I miss my fro, I really do. So, oh, looking forward to that. Anyway, so step one, I take my makeup off. Now, I don't always take my makeup off this way first. Sometimes I'll jump right into my soap because it does get my makeup off, but I have these AF94 makeup wipes and I like them. Now, do I like them because I like them or do I like them because Halsey made them and I love her? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're really soft. They're really like gentle. The scent is rather like delicate. There's, it's not like very strong. Um, it works <laughs> and it just feels good. It feels like really clean. Like I feel like I could just, like these are the kind of makeup wipes that I would take camping and feel incredible at the end of the day. Nobody talks about that. Like when you have to go to like Coachella or like you go camping in the desert and there's no a running water and you have to shower outside or like go without a shower, which I'm not trying to do that, okay? Um, at the very least, I'm going to use a makeup wipe, you know? And I could just, these, these would hit in the desert at night when you're all dusty and exhausted. So, yes. It's like very wet. Love that. Love that for these. Okay. Oh, I always forget to clean around my nose, like on the outsides of it. And sometimes there's like soap after, so. My skin, hold on. My skin is currently like decent. Like I have a breakout down here and I'm just getting past a breakout up here. And my boyfriend literally, he made fun of my <laughs> my scar today. He was like, is that where your chip is for your 3D enlightenment? And I was like, that's not nice. It's like, it was a really bad breakout and it was a really bad breakout here too. And I know, okay, so this is the disappointing truth about skincare routines. I have never been to a dermatologist and I am not a dermatologist, but I would say that I have rather good skin and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with genetics and a lot to do with diet and not eating things that your body struggles to digest. That is different for every person. You know, I hesitate to say food allergies, but certain things certain people cannot digest. And for me, um, dairy, if I eat dairy, it will break out my skin, guaranteed. So also if I eat like, just like fast food, like there was a time where I was eating Chick-fil-A and I, or like I hadn't eaten Chick-fil-A in a long time and then I went and ate it. And then like the next day I had like a very, really bad blemish. And it was like this level of like bad. It's all been bad recently, and I know what it was. I had espresso five days in a row, which I don't normally have, but I was house sitting, and they have a 
$700 espresso machine, so I used it, okay? And my skin broke out immediately. And then I got Taco Bell, which only made things worse um, because I discovered that you can substitute potatoes with instead of meat at Taco Bell. I had no idea. So um, I, my skin broke the f out, okay? And I didn't even have like normal Taco Bell. So I drink a lot of water. I know that drinking a lot of water really helps my skin. It helps it just look like moisturized and plump and well rested you know like if i'm well rested and i drink enough water my skin is amazing now if i have enough water but maybe i'm not well rested it's gonna look a little bit you know tired and if i'm dehydrated it's over like it's my skin is looking like trash if i'm dehydrated i drink about a gallon of water a day and I know that's a lot and I have to pee a lot and I have a lot of water weight and bloat sometimes, but it's my skin that we're talking about. <laughs> oh my God, okay, so um, let me move on. Step two, three, I don't know what, the, what is happening. Um, okay, so I'm gonna wash my face. I use this stuff. It is African black soap. I'll show you the one that I use. It comes in this, looks like this. And I just put a little bit on my palm like that. And then I lather it up, lather it up, lather it up. Okay, so I go like this because you're not supposed to um, put the soap directly on your skin necessarily because sometimes there's like little rocks in it because it's like natural. But I just go like that. Ooh, I almost inhaled it. And I just wash away. Ow, I'm getting it in my eyes and it burns. So fresh and so clean. I love using African black soap. It has kept my skin very clear for years. And it can be kind of stripping, but I honestly like that. I don't know why, like I said, I'm not a dermatologist. This is just what I do. I don't know why I look down like that. I'm not a dermatologist, this is just what I do. And I really like African black soap. I feel like it gets my skin really clean. Like I said, it takes off my makeup usually. I don't use a makeup remover every day or makeup remover wipe every day because the African black soap works. Okay, so then I am going to get a little cotton ball. And this has been a controversial step for me. You know, I used to use toner. I used to use Burt's Bees toner loved it they discontinued it tragic like they discontinued it they made a new version of it i don't like the new version it feels a little too um sensitive like it's not like a strong stripping toner which i don't know why that's what i like but it's what i like and it's what's worked for the most part unless i eat crap or drink espresso instead of my matcha <sighs> okay but um, yeah, so I was using, so I was using these Rapid Clear Wipes and um, they're okay, but they seem to leave a bit of residue on my skin. And with the way that my skin has been acting up lately, I was like, okay, let me be very gentle and very simple because I find that's what works for me is keeping a very simple, regimen, not a lot of products, keeping it gentle, and drinking a lot of water. Okay, so I got my cotton ball, and I'm gonna take some witch hazel. Like so. And I'm just going to go over my 
problem areas. And like my entire face, basically. Ooh, too much. And I'm terrified of getting this in my eyes, but I keep using too much. Okay, so what that maybe a pat dry, you know? We don't wipe our face dry, we know that, okay? We were not born yesterday. The internet been told me not to tug and pull on my face, so I really try not to. So, I just like let that dry. Then I like to go in with the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. about that much. Then I just rub it on my eyes like so. And like I said, I try not to tug and pull and be really gentle. And then I feel like lately I've been very aware of like the ends of my eyes. Cause girl, I've been wearing winged eyeliner for a very long time. And I feel like the ends of my skin there are like, my eye skin are like very thin. It's like, girl, you were rubbing us off in 2007. <laughs> we gone. <laughs> okay, so then I go in with the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. A classic, simple staple. Put a couple pumps. Slap her on. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. It feels so clean. It feels so light. And I appreciate it. And it really just feels like it would never clog your pores. And if I'm feeling dry, because I do live in Z Desert, I use The Ordinaries uh, natural moisturizing factors plus HA surface hydration formula. It's thick. It's thick, but it's not greasy. And it just feels like, oh, <laughs> water, like thick water <laughs> without being greasy. I don't feel like it clogs my pores. I don't use it every day, but I haven't used it in a few days. So it feels safe too. And thank God my blemishes are going down. My face kind of hairy right now. I'm getting into derma planning it, I believe it's called. Basically shaving it because I am sick and tired of feeling like I have a beard. Okay, uh, genetics, what can I do? It is what it is. You can't have it all. Okay, so ladies, don't be afraid of a little tweeze, a little sh shave. Okay, just saying, I'm just saying. Um, The only other thing I would do is add my lip mask. So I'm gonna go get that. Okay, I'm back with my Laneage Apple Lime Lip Sleeping Mask. Obsessed. Every night. <laughs> mm. Smells delicious. Feels amazing stays on all night. You wake up with a luscious lips and not dry, crusty munchers. <laughs> um, okay, so I thought I'd do something special for you and for me, and I'm gonna try Tatcha for the first time ever. The Rice Wash Skin Softening Cleanser, the Dewy Skin Cream, Plumping and Hydrating Moisturizer, the Liquid Silk Canvas. Oh, no I'm not. I'm gonna try this in another video. <laughs> but let me know, have you ever tried Tatcha? Um, have you liked it? I guess I could try the moisturizer. The Dewy Skin Cream. Yeah, because I would rather uh, use the cleanser and the primer but I just washed my face so I'm not gonna wash it again um, okay this is the little 
little Tatcha cleanser, soft cream cleanser, which sounds lovely, and a little um, dewy skin cream, replenishing Japanese purple rice for dry skin. Oh, I'm into this. Oh, it smells good. Smells the most fragrant of anything that I've used tonight, okay? But not like super, super duper. So you know what, I'm only gonna use a little, little bit because I'm being very gentle on my skin. I'm gonna take this on my trip with me though because that'll be very nice. It'll, it's giving vacation, you know? Vacation skincare. Now it definitely has like a scent to it, so I find that interesting because I don't use anything that really has a scent. I'm not into fragrances. I feel like that's an extra ingredient that is not necessary that could potentially clog my pores. It does smell really good though. Wow, okay, I feel moisturized, cleansed, and almost ready for bed, so. I'm gonna take a bubble bath, actually. The only other thing that I would do, because it is nighttime, is <laughs> brush your teeth, girl. Brush your teeth, floss. We floss in every day, okay? With these little um, recycled material flossers. And we're using mouth rinse also, twice a day, okay? Twice a day, we're not skipping that. We don't wanna wake up with breath you know we don't need that so brush your teeth before you go to bed mouth rinse floss i cannot stress that enough no skips okay no skips if you skip you're nasty okay i don't make the rules i don't make the rules okay thank you so much for watching my skincare routine this has been great this has been fun this has been wonderful um let me know if I'm doing anything I absolutely shouldn't be doing. I mean, surely I am. But like I said, never been to a dermatologist, would love to go. I just never think about going to a dermatologist. Like, it's surely an American <laughs> aversion to, you know, self-care that could be considered medical that will potentially cost you thousands of dollars. Maybe, maybe it's that. Maybe it's just um, because I'm American. I, I don't, I don't think of, Dermatologist visits as a uh, priority, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. This has been great, there's sirens, okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.